Andy Rice is South Africa's foremost advertising commentator and writer. He's just back from the Cannes Lions Festival of Creativity in the south of France, where he judged the effectiveness category. Andy Rice, a very warm welcome to you. Before we get to the effectiveness category, what does the Cannes Lions Festival actually set out to achieve? Well, I think you've put your finger on it just by reciting the name of the festival because the word advertising is conspicuously missing from the title. Uh, when the Cannes Lions were first founded 40-something years ago, it was all about being or aiming to be the world's premier advertising awards show. And I think it achieved that status probably quite quickly. But then some four or five years ago, uh, they consciously moved away from a focus purely on advertising to start to talk about creativity in a broader sense. Because advertising borrows from creativity in fields such as theater and music and film and art. And to some extent, it gives back as well. So there's this, this uh, two-way dialogue between different forms of creativity. Before we get to your category, effectiveness, um, explain to me why marketers need to take heed of something like this. Well, interestingly, the marketers are now uh, making up, I think, something like 40 to 45 percent of total delegates there. So it used to be a real kind of gin and tonic fest for the creatives. It's definitely much more of a commercial uh, festival now with speakers who bring real insight into the world of marketing and brands and, and clients who are there saying we're part of a team with our agencies and this is a thing we do together. You judge the effectiveness category. Yep. Surely all advertising has to be effective? It has to be, but it isn't. <laughs> Simple as that. Um, the main thing, I think, is to, is to strengthen the reputation of marketing and brand building and advertising as a discipline with those who might look at it through slightly cynical eyes, mm. seeing it as a, an expense and an indulgence rather than an investment. So the purpose of the Effectiveness Awards is to show that properly done, properly executed, properly thought through, Advertising can deliver a return just like any other business discipline. Always difficult, though, to measure return on investment in advertising. Though. Always, for a number of reasons. One, because you kind of suspect that maybe objectives were not set as rigorously as you might have hoped prior to the campaign. Uh, the jurors on, on our committee felt that some of the objectives had been reverse engineered into the submission. So you thought to yourself, well, was that really set at the outset or was it a convenient demonstration of meeting objectives at the end? Um, but yeah, it, it's, a, it's a challenge. There are always a lot of variables at work and it's never that easy to isolate the variable that was the most influential on the outcome. Was there one striking piece of work that achieved all of that? Well, there was the Grand Prix, so by definition, yes. That was Volvo Trucks. Uh, I think most people are very familiar with the Jean-Claude Van Damme epic split. That was just one of about eight movies in the total campaign. What was significant about um, that whole um, collection of movies was that they were fundamentally the oldest trick in the book, a product demo, mm. but done with massive creativity, massive interest, so that it was of, of appeal to an audience far wider than just truck owners or truck drivers. The moment Jean-Claude Van Damme got into that painful position, did it mean more sales of Volvo trucks? Was there a discernible link between the two? 45% uh, increase wow. in okay. serious inquiries about trucks, yeah. And that's effectiveness in advertising, yeah, isn't it? For sure. Just thread it back to something called the Apex Awards, uh, which is the South African equivalent. Um, can you draw some comparisons between the two? Yes, you can. In fact, there are two South African equivalents because the Luris now have a creative effectiveness component as well. So we have two different measures of how our advertising is working. Apex, I would say, is a little more rigorous. Um, the the submissions are more detailed. The 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 uh, the mantra that everybody recites when talking about advertising effectiveness is um, the difference between correlation and causation. Mm. And uh, correlation is the sort of default position. While we were doing this marketing or this advertising, this was happening in the marketplace. Therefore the one caused the other. But that is that last step is a step beyond logic. What you have to say is it's more than just uh, the fact that we were doing it at the same time. We have to prove in some way a firm causation. And I think Apex probably goes further down that road than can uh, creative effectiveness did. Andy Rice, thank you. Thank you.